Professor Giuseppe Di Pellegrini, are you aware a member of famous Giacomo Rizzolatti's team, research group, uh, and you are your collaborators discovered uh, in 19 so-called mirror neurons. Um, there are plenty of myths uh, connected with this discovery. Uh, could you clarify what exactly happened, uh, what this discovery consists of? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I was at the time I was doing uh, my PhD in neuroscience uh, in uh, Rizzolatti's lab. In, uh, Rizzolatti was the head of the, the, the institute and uh, responsible for my PhD at that moment. And I was working with um, uh, Jennifer Diga, uh, Leo Fogassi, Leonardo Fogassi, and Vittorio Gallese. So these are they were the people that were there in, at that moment in the, in the team. Uh, working with Giacomo Rizzolatti. We were recording uh, a single unit in a monkey, uh, it was Macaca in, uh, in the area um, F4, F5, uh, so in the most rostral part of the premotor cortex. And we were doing uh, an experiment on um, recording, we were studying actually the, the correlation between the single unit activity in this neuron and uh, kinematics or grasping. So the, the animal was grasping something, we were studying the, the, the activity associated with this grasping and st studying also the visual properties of this neuron. And then uh, it was, uh, I think, uh, completely by chance that happens that uh, when s so the, the animal was rewarded to uh, just to, s to induce the animal to pick up something, to grasp an animal. We were giving the monkey a piece of apple or some raisin, so the animal was doing this. And it happened that one of the researchers, and I don't remember exactly who, would for the first uh, uh, neuron uh, grasped a piece of apple. Uh, I think it was probably far from the monkey, grasped a piece of apple, and we heard, because the, at that time, um, I mean, we, we, we could hear the, the neuron, uh, we were associated with an amplifier, so we, a uh, sound amplifier, so we could e hear the, the charge of the neuron. And so we heard that when someone else, uh, one of the researchers, the experimenter, were, was grasping, uh, there was also a discharge. And then we, we tried with more formally this, and then slowly, we, 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 then we found that then another cell and then another one. And so we, we understood that the, the phenomenon was just uh, consistent uh, there. And actually, there were many mirror neurons. Very, very we were very excited about this uh, new, uh, it was completely serendipitous uh, new discovery. That, yeah. And who was the first person who realized um, the significance of your discovery? Who was the first person? The significance? I think that Giacomo Rizzolatti was uh, the, 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 the mind behind the discovery, yes, because I think immediately he uh, found this, uh, um, he thought about this association between uh, uh, perception action. Is, I mean, he always thought that the action was uh, central for 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 uh, in the entire um, cognitive and sensory motor abilities. The action was central, and uh, so there was uh, at that time one idea, the idea of, of um, uh, still an idea that is uh, in in, neuro in neuroscience, in cognitive psychology, and neuroscience, the, the about the, uh, the, the, the 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 motor um, theory of language. And he thought there was an association between, uh, so the idea you understand language because you are able to, to, to talk through your articulation of your, of your word. And so he found that there was an, uh, an association between the way these neurons were, were discharging, that were motor neurons. So there was an association between uh, uh, perception action in the same neuron about the same type of object, so the grasping of. Yes, and I think. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the differences between mirror neurons, canonical neurons? Uh, which are also uh, described by, by you mm -hmm. and your team, and uh, just ordinary neuron. Does the difference lies in internal structure of neuron or only in connections uh, with other neurons? Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, with motor cortex area or, or visual cortex, uh, putting it in other words, is mirror neuron a special class of neuron? or every single neuron could become a mirror neuron if that neuron creates some critical connections? Okay, so many questions. Oh, let me see. Let me, let, me ask, let, me, let me say one thing. No, not all neurons can become mirror neurons. I mean, the, 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 the specificity of those that were found, those neurons that were found at that time, so in 91, 92, uh, were the fact that they were visual motor neurons. Okay? Already at the time, there were neurons that were responding to the action of others, but just the way were visual neurons, uh, neurons in the temporal 
global primate. And so there was nothing new from that point of view. But those neurons were not a uh, motor also in the neuron. The, 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 the novelty of the, the discovery was just because these were both visual and motor. So not all neurons can become Okay, uh, why they are? Why mirror neurons uh, have so, so some, some different the functions? functions? Sorry? S why uh, the, the mirror neurons uh, have so different function, uh, visual and motor function? Okay, so, so the, we are in, in an area that seems important for the transformation of visual input into motor action, okay? Or the, for the, 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 tra the preparation based on visual cue of a motor action. This was the idea. Now, at that point, the, the visual cue, the, so the, 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 the trigger for, the, for, the, for the, the activation was an action of the other. Now, so there was the critical, a different thing relative to others. So now the point is, um, what, what functionally, what is the difference between these uh, uh, mirror neurons, these category neurons that respond to the action of others, and the canonical neurons that respond to objects. They are both motor, okay? They are both active when the animal grasps something, okay? They are both mirror and canonical that respond when the animal grasps something. But the canonical respond to object, okay? So traduce the object into action. This instead respond to the action of other. So traduce the action of other in my own action. So I, I, there, I, there are parallels, but there are also differences. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and in which minds function mirror neurons um, play a key role in ability to imitate or um, empathy because there are such theories uh, or maybe rule following or even language yeah, or okay, yeah, language there evolution. Are, there are, they've been claimed uh, the role in different things. Um, uh, first of all, let's say neurons with, mm, with properties such as mirror neurons, it's true that were found first in the uh, premotor cortex. Okay? Then they have been found also in other areas, namely in parietal. But then also there are these type of responses, uh, rev type of resonance responses, uh, in which the, the neurons respond, for instance, to tactile stimulus or in first person, but also respond to tactile uh, st stimuli when they see other people being touched, okay? Uh, um, in different locations, in, in, uh, we don't know yet if they are. They seem all obey to the same principle of um, putting together first and third person in the same neuron. But we don't know yet if they are, so is, they are governed by the same principle. They seem to do so. So what is the role? They've been claimed in the many different roles. Um, I think that uh, the evidence uh, is very strong for a role in representing others, uh, particularly uh, what uh, the idea is representing their goal, their intention. Um, so t through this uh, representation, if I have any, uh, in, uh, um, uh, a deep representation, a pragmatic, as Rizzolatti says, or a representation of the others, so I represent you through me, uh, I can understand better you, I can then uh, create um, um, uh, um, um, different representation of you and probably if, so on the basis of this then you can think that the, the, this neuron may participate in a phenomenon such as empathy or representation of the others. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mentioned, I have mentioned uh, language because uh, F5 area uh, hmm. which is a part of promotor cortex in macaque uh, brains in human brains, uh, th this area probably evolved to uh, famous mm -hmm. Broca's area, yeah. and uh, this is the part of brain which is associated with language function. And there are many theories, uh, mm. for instance, um, of Sandler. Michael Arbib or uh, your former uh, collaborator, collaborator Vittorio Galeza. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that um, mirror neurons. Uh, uh, play a key role in evolution of language. So I would like to ask you what is your personal view on, on mirror uh, neurons? I role mean, in, I, in I have no direct uh, okay. experience of this, but yeah, it seems a plausible hypothesis that uh, because there is this um, uh, similarity between uh, a sender and a receiver, someone send information, someone who receives the same information, and there is a these two information are in the same neuron, they, and this is the logic of language, the structure of language, sending and receiving information. Uh, they may participate in language. Uh, it's true that also mirror, neurons with mirror property uh, have been found in the Broca's areas, like in the brain, 
which is an error associated with language. Uh, so, yeah, it's one possibility. Yeah. Okay. So, last but not least, uh, please forget for a moment that uh, you are one of the discoverers of mirror neurons. Mm -hmm. And uh, would you agree with the statement that the discovery of mirror, mirror uh, neurons is as significant for neuroscience as uh, the discovery of DNA was uh, to, to biology? Okay, I think it uh, has been a uh, uh, tremendous uh, you know, discovery. I think it has changed a lot. Um, probably I may not say exaggerating, uh, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not taking I'm the responsibility of that. I mean, it's mostly Giacomo uh, strength and power in terms of intellectual power. But I think the, that the, um, the, 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 the all the field probably or uh, social cognitive neuroscience emerged from that discovery, I think. Um, mostly, um, I mean, people uh, at that time were doing experiment, obviously, cognitive experiment, but were only experiment in which uh, a single individual was just looking at a computer, was looking at uh, stimuli. The other, the other person, which is also the most important <laughs> stimulus uh, for us, was not uh, present in this experiment. It was just uh, something that was uh, in the experiments of social psychologists, but surely not for cognitive uh, psychologists or cognitive neuroscience. From that point, so uh, I think that uh, 92 starts a new moment in which mm, I think cognitive psychologists and cognitive neuroscientists uh, became interested in uh, um, in putting others, others, conspecific other individuals in their experiment. And uh, well, you know, the, 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 the thousands, of probably even more, uh, experiments have been done on the basis of the mirror neurons. Um, obviously, uh, such a discovery has, uh, sorry, because it has been also uh, as many point of con control has been controversial for me. Not the discovery itself, but the interpretation has been controversial because I think you can. Uh, those are data that cannot be. You know, put in any any doubt, but the, yeah, the interpretation. I think uh, then that is, uh, is, uh, is uh, can be different. You know, there are many different ideas. There could be different ideas. Uh, so I think has been uh, important. I, I I don't know whether you can make a parallel between DNA and uh, and I think it's an important discovery. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay.